Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Atia. I'm coming to you guys with a weight loss video slash update. Um, before I start, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I can never say that for some reason. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and leave a like and leave a comment and also comment your weight loss journey down below. Um, this is my journey. Everyone will do theirs differently. Um, if you're going to leave any hate comments about the way I chose to go about my weight loss journey, you can just exit, you know. <laughs> so let's just get started. So if you guys go back to my old videos, you can see obviously in my face that I was really big. I actually filmed two videos last year, I would say. Oh, today is January 1st. Happy New Year. Um, so <laughs> last year around, I filmed one in the summertime and I filmed another one. I first moved into the apartment I'm in right now. And the one I filmed in this apartment, the lighting was off. So I didn't upload, upload it. But also I was really, really big and I was really insecure of how I looked in that video. Um, so that video will never be uploaded. It's in my archives. It just won't be, you know, to the public. <laughs> but, um, let's go back to March. So March of 2020, I went on a cruise and I took pictures, like a lot of pictures on that cruise and I was so insecure about my body. And one thing about me is like, when I first got into college, which was four years ago, I got bigger but that's when the body positivity body body positive movement went started and so i started seeing more plus size women and people who look like me and i was like wow if they can do it i can do it and they can be confident in how they look i can be confident in how i look um no matter what what i'm going through and so when i was you know 2015 to 20 you know 17 2018 2019 I really didn't care how I look I just knew that if I could buy clothes that look cute and I can fit them and I get compliments in them and I deep down I felt like I looked good then it didn't matter and then you know health issues started um so I went to the doctor and they're like oh I was always wondering why my feet never really fit in my sandals or anything because my feet were always really big and they're like um you have fluid retention in your legs and also my knees are all messed up and they're like every time I went to the doctor and I told him my knees kept popping out of place it was always lose weight lose weight <laughs> which I understood which could play a part but my knees should be popping out of place when I'm walking that's not like you know good um and in the back of my mind my mom and dad and my grandmother all had gastric bypass surgery and I was like oh I don't need that I don't want to go you know the surgery route I, I was always I'm always scared of being put to sleep and not waking back up that's one of my biggest fears um, so just that bit alone, I couldn't get past it. Cause I actually, um, three, two and a half, three years ago, tried to get weight loss surgery and I psyched myself out of it. So I didn't do it. Um, and I kind of wish I did it earlier. Um, so if you can tell I had weight loss surgery. Um, so in March, I'll insert pictures of how I looked on the cruise in March. Um, and I just had like an epiphany, like a tear. This is not healthy. You don't look cute. <laughs> you know, my neck was extremely dark and you know that it's a sign of high insulin levels. Um, I wasn't pre-diabetic, which was surprising to my doctor and to me, but I did have high blood pressure. Um, but when they took my blood, they said my insulin wasn't high enough to hit pre-diabetes, but I was, I was in a danger zone basically, um, which was worrying to me. And then one day I was eating and I was literally eating a slice of pizza and oh, I was eating, I was at Burger King <laughs> and I got a, bur a Whopper and I was eating it and it felt like my heart like completely stopped. And I was like, God, please let me die. Please don't let me die. Like I won't eat like this <laughs> again. And it was really bad. And then another day I was eating a slice of pizza and the same thing happened to me. I'm like, you know what, Tia, this is not healthy for you. If I want to, you know, have a long life, you know, fulfill my dreams and aspirations and, you know, do what I want in life, I can't live like this because it's not going to allow me to live long. Um, so I finally went to my doctor again and she re referred me to a weight loss surgeon. Um, and he told me that I fit the criteria for weight loss surgery. My BMI was over 40, um, 40 something and he wanted to be you know in the 30s um so his criteria was I needed to lose 20 pounds I needed to also see um a nutritionist slash dietitian which I actually have been seeing 
you know, in the past, I had, I saw a lactation like at least 10 times in my life, you know, um, because every time I went to my doctor, they would always say, oh, you need to go see a dietitian because your weight is not healthy and all that stuff. So I saw my dietitian and luckily before I made a decision to ask for the referral to go get weight loss surgery, I've already been seeing her. So it kind of counted for that too. Um, also I had to get a psychiatric evaluation, um, which that was scary because I was scared of not getting approved. And I would I, I wouldn't have cared if I didn't get approved the first time or didn't pass psychi psychiatric evaluation. It was more of the fact that I'm 23 now. At the time I was 22, I got my surgery, which was I got my surgery November 4th of 2020. So it's only been it hasn't even been in two months yet since I had my surgery. Um, but I would had an age on my mom's insurance when I turned 23, which was December 3rd. Um, so I had literally like a I got, I started seeing my my surgeon in July. So July, August, September, October, November, December. I had basically six months to get my surgery. If not, I would have to pay out of pocket and it's really expensive. So I saw him and I did everything I needed to do. I worked out every day and actually like, I found a new love in working out. I haven't worked out, you know, since I had my surgery because life hit, hit me, <laughs> but I'm getting back into it. And it's just really, if you're very stressed and you know you can't go eat like you normally do, because I can't do that anymore if I wanted to, because I would throw it right back up, um, or eat as bad as I used to, working out is like a good stress reliever. And I found that for me, and I found out it worked for me. So um, the highest weight, and I'll insert a picture of how I looked. And I was like, dang, look at you, you look, you look bad. Like, you look really bad. Um, I was 378 in a picture that I will show you guys. I'm filming my phone, so I can't, like, show you because I'm not filming my camera right now. Or, like, my actual Canon. Um, so I was 378 at my heaviest. I had to lose 20 pounds. Um, and also the liquid diet that they put you on is a two-week liquid diet before you um actually get the surgery of your surgery day so that day the day of my surgery i was 358 and now i'm 311 so i have lost 47 pounds since my surgery day of november 4th 2020 um and today is january 1st 2021 so once again happy new year um so it hasn't even been two months out and i've already dropped 47 pounds i weighed in at 311 this morning um, and then I have lost 67 pounds since the highest weight of 378. Um, so it's funny because I'm a part of a lot of bariatric um, surgery support groups on Facebook. And I see people losing, you know, a lot, a lot of weight really fast. And I'm like, why am I not? And I didn't realize until like I actually like, wrote it down that I have almost lost 50 pounds to my surgery. And it's not even two months out yet. So by the time January 4th hits, I might be 50 pounds since the day of my surgery and like I've never felt better I'm not sure if I mentioned it but my mom dad grandmother and like a lot of my family members had either the gastric bypass which I had or they had the sleeve um and it's not for everyone I was in a hospital multiple times because I was severely dehydrated um it's a whole lifestyle change like a part of me a couple of weeks ago decided to go eat something that I would have eaten a long time ago and I immediately threw it back up and then I had really bad headaches and I realized my iron levels were low so now I have to take vitamins um so you know do your research and do whatever is best for you um but I think almost two months out that this was one of the best decisions I made in my life like I'm more confident in myself I have my moments where you know, if I didn't have body dysmorphia, but then I definitely have it now because <laughs> I see, I still see that big person and I've lost weight in my face and my neck and my arms. Like, I don't know if you can see that. Um, and even my, my thighs and my calves. Um, but I don't really see the difference in my stomach. Also, my chest has deflated and my butt has deflated. So <laughs> I can't wait for this reconstruction surgery. Um, but I'm just really excited. And I'll keep you guys updated if you guys would like. And also, I'm going to do it because I want to keep, you know, uh, video documentation of my progress. And, you know, once again, lose weight how you want to lose weight as long as it's healthy. Um... But yeah, 
I'm really happy right now and I can't wait to see myself in, you know, the next couple of months and see, you know, the progress I make. And also, if you guys want me to do like what I eat in a day um, as a bariatric patient and all that stuff, just let me know. And also, once again, put your weight loss journey in the comments below. And I have a Boohoo haul coming next. So I'm kind of mad because I lost a lot of weight. So everything I brought from Boohoo doesn't even fit me properly anymore. But we'll see that in the next video. So stay tuned to that. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.